Good afternoon, everyone. Today's video is pre recorded. I apologize that I cannot be with you uh, for the live video, but next week we will pick up with our live videos again. I'm starting to fog up. For those of you who are not in Eastern Iowa, it is overcast and gloomy and it's kind of misty raining right now. The nature activity I planned for today, we cannot do because of the weather. So we're gonna change plans a little. And I think that you all will be happy with our change of plans. So if you'll give me a few moments. Can you come in? Turn on the light and let me get situated and show you what we have planned for today. Hey. You wanna come in? There we go. I'm gonna readjust her so she can get in the camera. <laughs> And say hello. So, of course, most of you know her, but for anyone joining for the first time, this is Diamond, uh, our therapy dog here at Camp Courageous. During our normal time, pre pre COVID, <laughs> uh, I would take Diamond to different nursing homes and assisted living facilities. Uh, and we'd even go to the Jones Regional uh, Medical Center that's in Anamosa and visit uh, some of the inpatients there or the people doing uh, different therapy, physical therapy. Um, we go there and hang out with some of them. Uh, so a little bit about Diamond. She is five years old. We got her when she was two. April 21st of 2017 is when we got Diamond officially. Um, and her birthday is November 18th. So there's that. Uh, Diamond came to us already trained as a therapy dog. Um, and what we did, again, pre-COVID, was about once a month, we would take her to a Stone Hollow boarding and training in Cascade, Iowa, where Tory Topping uh, is the one who trained her and got her certified. And he does just some touch-up training, some, some reviews, if you will, uh, just on some of the commands and some of the uh, things that she knows. We wanna make sure that what she knows, I know, um, as well as Carol. Carol's the lady in charge of the pool. She's the other handler with Diamond. We wanna make sure we stay on top of that so that uh, she keeps her training up to date. Why are you looking away from the camera? Diamond's not a fan of the camera. If you are her Facebook friend, she'll take pictures, but generally when you aim the camera at her for a picture, she is not excited about it. So she doesn't like the paparazzi, you know. She's she's more of a not today kind of lady, which is perfectly fine because we still love her anyway. Uh, so yeah, Diamond is a black lab, but she is more along the lines of the British lab. Um, as the British and the American lab, the primary difference is the size of the critters. Um, Diamond's build, she's only about 60, 65 pounds. Um, she has a very lean, slender body. The American lab generally have a larger body. They're stockier in build, uh, larger heads, big block heads, broader body. Uh, for those of you who know Diamond and have met her, she's a very small, sleek, slender dog. And that's because she's more along uh, the British lab instead of the American lab. See, I told you she didn't too much care for the camera. Move you over here so you can see. And I'll sit here. Uh, so, service and therapy dogs. What's the difference between the two? Service dogs are dogs that uh, have been trained to be paired with one specific person. Um, 
they generally have one job, but they can have up to two jobs. For example, um, if there is someone who is a seeing eye dog, for example, and it's paired with someone who's visually impaired or blind, but well, maybe that person has seizures also, that dog will be trained how to recognize the telltale signs that that person is about to have a seizure um, and could be trained to not only be the seeing eye dog for them, but um, also pay attention to those signs that you know they're about to have a seizure. Um, and then prepare, the dog can prepare itself to uh, support that person. Um, maybe uh, it's someone who has seizures but also has uh, panic attacks or anxiety attacks. Uh, those types of situations look different for different people. Um, and so that dog, again, could be trained to recognize the signs that the owner is about to have an anxiety or a panic attack and then place themselves in a position to support uh, their owner when they are experiencing that crisis. Um, so again, generally it's one job, they can't have two, but they are always trained for one specific person. That's a service dog. Therapy dogs are dogs that are trained to socialize with everyone. So a therapy dog is for everyone. A service dog is just for one. Once again, a service dog is for one, but a therapy dog is for everyone. Uh, some of the training is similar, but it is not identical. Uh, there are bits and pieces that are different for each uh, training for the service and the therapy dog. The service, of course, depends on the specific job that the dog will have. The therapy dog, in general, um, is trained to essentially greet someone who is not a stranger. Um, and it's one of the great things about Diamond. When I take her to the different nursing homes and to the hospital, uh, people will say, oh my gosh, it's like, you know, she doesn't know anyone as a stranger. Um, some of that is her training. Some of that is her personality type. Um, personality types play a big role in the jobs that service and therapy dogs get. Scoot this way a little bit. There you go. If you stay right there, then we're both in the camera and you can see your face. Oh. She, she's liking this. She wants me to scratch her belly. I'm going to rub her belly while I talk. Okay. So, personality types. Three main personality types. The alpha, the beta, and the omega. The alpha dog is the one that is generally going to be your seeing eye dog. Uh, they are natural born leaders. Uh, they, in the wild, are the leaders of their pack. They're the ones who make all decisions for the livelihood of their pack of dogs that they roam with, that they move with and travel with. Um, <clears throat> as pets, uh, they can be very loyal to their owners. Um, as pets, if they aren't trained right, this is also going to be the dog that will climb on the kitchen table and eat the roast when he or she knows that he or she is not supposed to do so. But because they are that natural born leader and that alpha dog, they're gonna do what they wanna do, especially if they've been given the leeway to do so. Um, just, that's the alpha personality. The beta personality is Diamond's personality. So Diamond is a personality that is just, in general, her temperament is more calm and more relaxed, as you can see right now. Uh, a lot of people, again, when I go to nursing homes and the hospitals, they'll say, oh, this must be an old dog. She's so relaxed and calm. And I say, no, she's only about, at the time, four years old, you know, five years old. Are you serious? Wow. How, how did you get her to be so relaxed? And I explain, well, it's a part of her personality type. Um, in the pack of dogs, Diamond's position is going to be at the very back of the pack. And I keep calling her name and she's like, what? I'm right here. You're calling me. I'm sorry, I'm just telling the people about you. Her position is going to be at the very back of the pack. And her job is to keep everyone together and to watch for predators that might be coming in uh, from her peripheral sides behind the view of the alpha. So the alpha dog is leading at the front. 
the beta is at the very, very back following up, keeping everyone together, and also watching for potential predators that might be coming in from the sides, but out of the view of the alpha dog. Um, as far as pets are concerned, uh, beta personalities are the ones that when the doorbell rings, they are not going to answer. They're not going to jump up and bark or anything. They're going to kind of look at you for you to answer the door. Um, that's the beta personality. Um, as far as service and therapy dogs, they will not be a, a service a dog for someone who has a visual impairment. Uh, because again, those dogs are again the natural born leaders and Diamond's place of being comfortable is not at the very front, but at the very back. Um, however, you know, with training, she can be in a heel position, which is right at your side. Um, and so that's why she does, she's a great dog for a therapy dog. Um, she would be a great dog for a diabetes assistance dog or for someone who has diabetes. She would be trained to smell the chemical changes on the skin. Um, to detect when the blood sugar of their owner is going too high or too low. She would wear a vest, and on that vest, of course you're gonna reposition yourself. On that vest, and on that vest, it's not like the camera. On that vest will be uh, snacks and juice for the owner, so that if they have a low blood sugar, they have an emergency stash essentially attached to the, her vest. On the vest will also uh, be a, like a glucagon pen. The glucagon pen is um, basically an emergency sugar device if you are unconscious. Um, all that will be on her vest that she would wear. Uh, so that's the beta personality. The omega personality is the one that is too afraid to lead and too afraid to be left behind. So, I'm trying to get your head in here. <laughs> too afraid to lead, and too afraid to be left behind. So they are in the very middle of the pack. Um, they do not like drama or any type of tension amongst other dogs in the pack. Uh, they feel like Sometimes giving up their own meal will make things better. And so sometimes they won't eat if it means, but why are you turning over? Over here, hey, hey, over here, over here, over here. I need you to come, I need you to swing back this way. I need you to swing back this way. I'm trying to get, she is not, that's diamond for you. I need you to turn back around so people can see. So, um, they will sometimes not eat if they believe it's gonna make things better uh, with whatever issues are going on in the pack. Um, as far as service and therapy dogs, they can be trained to be service and therapy dogs, but uh, they would require a lot more training, uh, generally because the Omega dogs are the ones that are very frightened they're frightened very easily, excuse me. Um, and so if they, well, no, I need you to turn around so that people can see you. Nope, I need you to turn around so people can see you. She's giving me her sad puppy dog eyes right now. Um, so again, they can be trained uh, for service therapy dogs, but they need specific training because they can, they're the ones who generally, again, are, are frightened very easily. Uh, so that might mean thunderstorms, if I have a dog that is a diabetes assistance dog and there's a thunderstorm, if they're afraid of thunderstorms and they don't have the proper training, their fear of that storm is gonna outweigh their ability to do their job. For me, if my sugar is going too high or if it's dropping really low. Um, and so again, that's why their, their training is, is different um, to try to pinpoint and figure out what those um, stressors are, what those triggers are, um, so that they, you can work on that or the trainers can work on that and work on combating uh, ways to redirect that attention and that energy uh, to stay focused on the job that they have or have been trained to do for their human. Um, so that's the Omega personality. 
Um, they are the ones who, when the doorbell rings, they start yapping and barking. And then when you open the door and they see that it's you or mom or dad or your husband or your wife or your best friend that they are familiar with, they go, oh, it's you. And so then once you sit down, their tails wagging and they're jumping in your lap and giving you kisses and loving on you. Um, some of that barking is a defense mechanism. Part of it is them saying, I don't know who's on the other side of this door, so I'm gonna bark really loudly to frighten you so you'll leave. Or it's, I don't know who's on the other side of this door, so I'm gonna bark really loudly because I'm actually really scared right now. Um, and I don't know who it is. But again, once the door opens, then they're like, oh, it's you. Um, so that's the Omega personality. You can have some overlap amongst the personalities. Um, Diamond is a beta and she will have Omega sometimes. She'll have Omega traits that come out, not a lot, uh, but occasionally she will have Omega traits that do come out sometimes. Um, so yes. That's it for the service and therapy dogs and the personality types. Um, let's see, what other questions would people have or would you have about Diamond? So I'm gonna talk a little bit more about her. If there are questions that I do not answer, please leave them in the comments and um, I will get back to your comments uh, when I get back. So long story short, last week, sidebar, I said, hey, we're gonna change the time from 11.45 to five o'clock. Well, I scheduled some appointments this afternoon and I did not have my planner in front of me. So uh, Monday, I'm looking at my planner for the week and I'm going, okay, Monday's Labor Day, Tuesday, okay, Wednesday. Hang on a second. I have my Courageous Critters at five o'clock, but I've got, <clears throat> so here we are. Again, it's a pre-recording just for today. Next week, next Wednesday at five o'clock, I will be live again. So again, I apologize for that. But when I'm done with my uh, appointments today, I will respond to any questions you have in the comments that I did not or do not answer um, in the video. Diamond uh, is not a mother. She's never had babies. She never will. Um, and she she's okay with that, you know. Uh, she, she's pretty pretty comfortable with you know that decision that's been made uh diamond uh shares a home with two cats and another dog um the cats are stevie and chester uh because diamond is not an alpha personality stevie and chester some kind sometimes they kind of boss her around um and she's not aggressive towards them because again it's not her personality type so they know that they can kind of boss her around a little bit she also has a little brother. His name is Sue. That's right, you heard it right. S-U-E, Sue. And for those of you who are Johnny Cash fans, you all have probably made the connection to her little brother, who is a boy named Sue. Um, so he, 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 he became her brother well, a couple months ago. Was it in May, maybe? June? May or June, I believe. Uh, he became her brother, and so, um, yeah, that's her brother. Uh, let's see, anything else about Diamond? Diamond is not trained to do any um, type of rescue work. Uh, there was talk about doing that at one point when we first got her. Of course, everything has kind of been put on pause for a moment um, because of the COVID situation, obviously, so not a whole lot going on right now with that. When things are up and running again, we will, you know, potentially revisit that um, and those options at that particular time. Um, so let's see what else. Me and Carol are the main handlers. Tori Topping, once again, at Stone Hollow, uh, boarding and training and Cascade is uh, where she got her training done and where she's, well, in the other time, would be going, like I said, roughly once a month to just kind of review some of the stuff that she knows. Um, does Diamond like to swim? Diamond loves to swim. Um, Diamond uh, has webbed paws. That is a trait that labs have uh, so that when they swim in the water, 
um, as they paddle, they spread their toes and in between their toes is like webbing, kind of like ducks, and it helps them paddle through the water. Uh, her tail serves as a rudder to help her steer while she is swimming, but she absolutely loves the water. She absolutely loves it. So when it's warmer, of course, we have a lake at Lake Taj. She likes to go swim there. And sometimes she likes to go down the Makokita River with her mom, Carol. Um, and then Shannon and her brother, Sue, uh, they go kayaking sometimes down the Makokita River when it's hotter and nicer outside. So that's a little bit more about Nyman. All right, girl, we're getting ready to say goodbye now. You all take care, have a great rest of your, it's evening now, probably, close to the evening, um, Wednesday, late afternoon, early evening. Again, any questions or comments you have, please leave them in the comments below. And when I'm done with my appointments this afternoon, I will come back and I will um, respond to all of your questions and comments. Thank you all for joining me. Take care. Stay safe. Uh, if you have to go out in public, remember to wear your masks, social distance yourself, um, and wash those hands with soap and water for 20 seconds or longer. And if there's anything else you'd like to see or hear about um, or presentations or activities you'd like to see done, let me know. And we will see if we can't make that happen. Alrighty. Take care. See you next week.